reveal your spell, oh mighty wizard. All right, so we got Dr. Rudy Barks, ritualistic pact with the devil. Oh, why is a tree casting ritualistic pacts of the devil? Well, you know, because he's Dr. Rudy Bark. Oh. That's just how he rolls. So we are playing Epic Spell Wars of the Battle Wizards, Battle for Mount Skull's Fire. Um, it's a game similar to Munchkin, where you try to screw over your opponents as much as possible. Yeah, yeah, you're basically, you're all wizards and you're all casting like gigant, gigantic spells at each other and trying to kill off everybody else. Each spell has three different parts. It has a source, a quality, and a delivery. You can mix and match to make different types of spells of different quality, do different things. I think the art style is what I like the most so far about it. It's just extremely over the top in everything that it is about. Yeah, it's not just the art style. It's like the flavor of like you know the, what what you're actually doing. It's like nuclear explosions and King Oberon's chicken. Right, and you Gornados. mix and match, so it's it's like spells you wouldn't normally see together. Like it's a fairy that's killing something that's turning into a chicken, and it's yeah. It's nonsense and it's beautiful best moment in the game is probably the second time we were playing. Um, there's certain spells that have a chance of hurting yourself as well as your opponent, and I think I killed myself before I killed an opponent. It does it a lot. Yeah, I, I think in the game we just played, I ended up healing everybody else. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I played a wild magic card, which gives you the random effect of, you know, like the next card you draw, and it affected everybody else instead of what it normally would have affected, which was me. So I ended up accidentally healing all my opponents. And saving the life of your foe so he could kill you. <laughs> I think Eric's won the most so far. I think out of the times we've played, his win record's two. I think I've won once. I think Kevin's won once. Have I ever actually won? I don't think you won. You won half won. a game just now. You won half I a did. game. You got like a match? Yes. We tied. Like one hand, I that guess. That works. Yeah. So it can go <laughs> any direction depending on what the cards you draw. So, it, it compares with Munchkin because the chaos. Yeah, it's the, yeah. the chaos and I think the over-the-top kind of, you know, comical fantasy style. The overlaying strategy while still trying to do as much damage as possible to your enemies. Um, no monsters involved, though, but it's just kind of a competitive card game. Magic is also a good analogy, I think, for it. Yeah, it's, it's just kind of like a free-for-all of damage and healing. Mostly. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I haven't played very many games like it. Expansions, I just love to see more types of cards, different cards, different spells. I love the direction the game went with it, so I would like to see more of it. Um, I'd like to see the location play better into effect. Um, like right now, that's the battle for Mount Skull's Fire. I would expect dark spells and fire spells to have a greater effect than if you were fighting on like Mount Kilimanjaro or something like that. You know, I'd like to see probably two different things happen. I'd like to see a type of spell component you can play to uh, like protect yourself or interrupt someone else's spell. You know, something you can do when it's not necessarily your turn in the round. Or I'd like to see um, the different wizards kind of have their own unique uh, like skills or you know bonuses. I think this would appeal to anyone who's looking for a quick card game. Um, this isn't a game that's going to take four to five hours to play, like Munchkin Quest or Battlestar Galactica. This is something that you can get three or four people together and play in an hour and be done with it and still have a great time. Um, it's a real simple game for kids to pick up. It's very simple to learn, hard to master style game. So if that's the stuff you like, that's who would like this game. And I, I think anyone who really likes um, the, the fantasy style of uh, you know gameplay or just that theme in general would probably get a kick out of a lot of the, the cards and the spells. I would play it again. We've played it every time we've come here so far. Um, just because it's different every single time. There's so many different spells and so many different components for the spells. I've never actually seen the same spell twice unless it was the ballsy test kill. <laughs> Just the, the chaos of the game adds to its re replayability because it's always different. There's always something else going on. I've never actually seen the same spell twice unless it was the ballsy testicle. Um, we don't talk about the ballsy testicle. That does testicle. come up surprisingly often. <laughs>